Hello drone racers, today we are going to look at three brand new products that are just recently available and these all fall into the tiny whoop category, at least pretty darn close. They're all going to fly with those same types of quadcopters and the first is the Aurora 68. It's Aurora 68 meaning it's 68 millimeters from propeller to propeller so it's the same size as the rest of the tiny whoops that we're used to flying. but. It's brushless. You can see here underneath that we actually have brushless motors on this and in the kit, and it's also a two uh, cell battery. So technically it's not gonna be able to fly with the rest of the tiny whoops. So if you're planning on racing in the multi-GP, it won't qualify for that category, but if you're just flying around and you want that size quadcopter, this thing should be a screamer. I've already pre-ordered this and it's on its way now. Um, the links for everything we're going to show here are available in the description below if you want to get one yourself. This, like most of these small quadcopters now, are available with multiple receivers. So if you have a Spectrum, a FlySky, or a FR Sky transmitter, you are good to go. This one is, as I mentioned, shipping right now. A couple of things I found really interesting about this one is it already comes with D-Shot on the ESC, which really surprises me for something this small, but should make it, uh, make it really interesting. It does have support for the other options if you would prefer to change it. So the Aurora 90 has been hugely popular for a lot of people, but this is basically the same thing, just in a smaller form factor. So it'll be able to get into a lot of places, but I'm really curious to see how much power it has. It should be able to the screen. good quadcopters recently and people have been really happy with the number of models they have but this one is a true full tiny whoop category and what interested me about this one is it has the same molded lines as the inductrix fpv but for half the price so this should be a really good option for people who want a more durable quad some people have problems with the circular polarized antenna on top, and this one doesn't have that. So, for instance, if I let my six-year-old fly, he's broken off several antennas, and this won't have that problem. This is six millimeter motors, so it's the same as most of the Tiny Whoop. This will fully fit into the Tiny Whoop category. But we have multiple colors available, and I think it's really interesting what they've done with this to give us options. You see there's both a basic and an advanced version. Again, this comes with um, the receivers mentioned for the Aurora, plus there is a fast version for those Futaba flyers out there. And you can also get this one without a receiver. Probably not going to be a really popular option because it's not much of a price difference to get a receiver. It does vary a little bit depending on what you get. Um, fast is actually quite a bit more expensive. But what I think is most interesting here is there's two options available. You can get the basic version, which just comes with your traditional quadcopter, battery, and charger. But you can get an advanced combo, which comes with five batteries, a multi-charger to be able to charge all five batteries at the same time, and four different color canopies and props. So with this combo, it would be really nice if you want to get a pair of them to race. You could get one of each, and then you could have different color canopies to race together, but not have a match, and then with the combo pack, be ready to go. This does use the same size batteries as the Inductrix FPV, so if you have those batteries already like I do, um, I just got the basic combo on this one because I have lots of these batteries around and don't need to make a change. And it does look like it has a, a JST-PH2 connector, so if you watch one of my last videos, that makes a big difference. It doesn't have the, uh, the 1.5 on it, I don't think. I guess I can't quite tell what those have on it. That might be a 1.25, but the charger is nice and set up, so it will be able to charge either kind, either the 1.25 or the two. So all my batteries that I put two on, and I've got a video showing how I actually did that, um, can plug into these uh, P JST PH2 connections. So I'll have to go ahead and convert this one to connect and connect make the same changes to this as the Inductrix, but we'll see that. Um, I pre-ordered this one also and we'll get it in soon. Last up is one more quadcopter that I think is going to be really interesting. Again, it doesn't quite qualify as a Tiny Whoop because this is the King Kong Tiny 7. So the last one was the Tiny 6, this is the Tiny 7. This is 75 millimeters from corner to corner. 
but it does have the same advantage with no circularly polarized antenna, which I think will be just fine inside. Same mode options with the Spectrum, Futaba, FlySky, FRSky, or without, and the same advanced or basic versions for the quadcopter kit that you get along with it. This comes the same way with the basic coming with one battery and a charger, and then the advanced coming with five batteries and a five-way charger, and four canopies and four propeller sets. I went ahead and went for the advanced combo on this one because this is a, it's a still a single cell, but it's 500 milliamp batteries. So this will keep this thing flying for a while. As I mentioned, these are seven millimeter propellers and it should be a really interesting combo. I really like the looks of this frame. The frame looks exceptionally sturdy to me and the bigger motors fit into this frame, I think will work out really well and it'll make it just a little more powerful with only a small size increase over the 65 millimeter quads that we've been racing for the most part. And the price is still just really interesting. For me, with the FR Sky basic version, it's $62. So it's far cheaper, half the price or nearly a third of the price of the Aurora 68 that we ordered already. But I don't expect it to be as powerful or go quite as long. So it's going to be interesting to compare and see how those go. The brushed, the little bit larger brushed versus the smaller brushless that we have available now. Again with the advanced option, it's a pretty good price. It's, uh, what do we have here? An extra $22 basically for the four canopies which I don't care that much about but for the five batteries and the five-way charger so it makes it a really good combination so let me know which of these interests you the most I think the tiny six could be the new inductrix FPV killer I love the Isheen E10S which has been great for me we did a review and that has been my number one flyer for a while but for the price the tiny six could be really interesting Tiny 7 doesn't quite fit into that Tiny Whoop category, but if you're flying by yourself, could have a lot of power. But then with the Aurora 68, we have the first really truly brushless Tiny Whoop, which I think over the next few years, what everything is going to go to. The brush will probably go away, be totally replaced by the brushless models for that now that they've got them down to the size, but we'll find out. Stay tuned to the channel and make sure you subscribe so you see the reviews of all three of these as they come in. We've got all three of them on their way, so the reviews will be coming very soon, very quickly. As I mentioned, let me know which one of these you are most interested in. And if you're interested in ordering any of these models, there are links to each of them below. Thanks for watching. Until next time, keep racing.